Hi guys! I know it seems kind of late for a prom tutorial, but where I live, it's just getting started and goes on through May. So I came up with a gold smoky eye with a touch of glitter. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, because I have um, discoloration on my eyelids, I'm starting off with NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm just going to put that all over my lid and then blend it out with my fingers. Um, if you don't have this and you just have a primer, that's fine too. You don't necessarily need it. Like I said, I just have some discoloration in my lids, so that's why I chose to use this. So again, blending it out, and then I'm just taking what's left on my fingertip and running it right underneath my eye on the lower lash line. Now I'm going in with Naked from the Naked One palette. Just a big fluffy brush, and I'm putting that down right above my crease as a transition color. Now going in with Half Baked, I'm putting that on a concealer brush and I'm just patting that on to about two thirds of my lid. I'm going from the inner corner um, two thirds of the way out and just patting that on to get um, to get a lot of color on there. Now I'm going in with Dark Horse on a blending brush and I'm putting that in my crease and bringing that down to the outer V just to darken up that outer corner. I'm taking a small brush and going in with Creep, and the brush I'm using is actually the brush that came with the Vice 2 palette. Um, you could actually use a pencil brush with for this if you wanted to, but just definitely when you're adding a darker color, think less is more. Um, you can see when I first started out, it looked super dark, but it just blended out, and um, I do go in and add a, just a little bit more. But you always want to work that way when you're working with dark shadows because if you add too much at first then you can't take it away unless you start over completely. So definitely think less is more and then just keep blending um, so that there aren't any harsh lines and then you can see that I'm pulling it sort of out and up a little bit so that it follows the same lines as the liner once I add that to my lash line. Because we lost a little bit of the gold shadow when we put on the colors of the outer corner, I'm just going to go back in with Half Baked and just tap a little bit more onto the lid. And then I'm going to go over that with this uh, gold liner from NYX and just take the brush and pat it on to wherever um, the gold shadow is. takes 
face everything we have to face it without a sound we take a step inside our hearts are racing now i'm going in with virgin and just placing that under my brow as a brow bone highlight and then just a little bit onto the inner corner Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I would suggest using a water, the waterproof version of this. I just didn't have it on me at the time because my eyes tend to get watery and this does come right off as soon as I start watering. So um, definitely get something that is waterproof and I'm just making a thin line across my lashes and leaning it out a little bit um, at the end. I know we're gonna fall down Hold my hand and we'll get up I know we're gonna make it somehow If it takes forever We'll get there together. I'm going with a brown liner from NYX and putting that on my waterline and also onto the lower lash line and then I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend that out with Dark Horse and Naked. I know you can't see it very well because it's totally out of frame, but what I'm doing here is just adding that same gold liner from next to the inner corner and bringing it about a quarter of the way in onto the bottom lash line. And then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, apply that to my lashes, my top lashes, before I apply my falsies. This next step is optional, but I am going to apply falsies. I believe they were the Ardell Wispies, and I'm just going to apply some of the Duo Lash Adhesive. You want to wait about 20 to 30 seconds until it gets a little bit tacky, and then I just use tweezers and set them down on top of my lashes, and then just adjust them to try to get them as close to your natural lashes as possible. Just be very careful at this point if you're using tweezers because we don't want nobody poking their eyes out. And then I was once again out of frame, but I did take the uh, Mabel Maybelline Mega Flush Mascara, and I used that for my bottom lashes. And if you happen to get any mascara under your lower lashes or even above, just wait for it to dry completely. Take a dry Q-tip, and it should flake right off. Inside our hearts. Alright, so this is the finished look. Um, on my lips, I applied the Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick and Fergie Daily, and over top of that, I have the NYX Buttercloss and Creme Brulee. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit, and yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you all found this helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful time at prom. Definitely be safe, and thank you so much.
so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.